Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf and today we are here with Ares in the Timberland and his mate Aquila. So Aquila like Ares is named after a constellation. They are both uh, they are both two years and seven months old and as is Ares if we look at his um uh his uh profile I guess and uh, they are also the only wolves in their pack. So these guys settled a little bit further south than um, Star and Crow did. And they are in the Timberland and are currently trying to kind of establish themselves here. So we're going to be trying to get to raising pups with them as well. How are our vitals doing? They're pretty good. They're not that bad. So uh, let's look at these guys here. And uh, I honestly really like the animation in this, even if it's very, um, uh, it's very old and very pixel. Uh, I really like that. Um, if there's a lot of water here too, I'm used to not having all that much water in uh, the plains. And here there is quite a bit of water. So look at this place. It's actually really, really cool. If we look around, I don't know how big the territory is, and I don't smell any humans either, which is really, really good. Because a lot of the time we start running into humans pretty soon. We did in the tundra, at least. And so if we don't have many here, that would be a very good thing. Let's uh, look around here. Hopefully there's not much going on here. <laughs> Hopefully there's not uh, many issues with this area. It seems pretty clear right now. There are several other wolf packs in the area, too, and a lot of uh, other lone wolves running around. I think we're going to go hunt that beaver, by the way, because we are starting to get hungry. Uh, but yeah, we're going to try to get these guys all the way to raising pups if we can, because that is something that has been very requested. And so for this season of wolf, that is our ultimate goal. And as always, uh, if you guys want to see the series speed up a little bit, please do let me know, because um, let's see if we can get it. That was very slow beaver um but as always uh if we do need to start skipping through some of this so that we can get there a little fast because it is going to be about i think five months here in game time before we can have these guys have pups then um as always uh let me know there's a human i knew it couldn't be that long um but yeah, as always, let me know if you want to see me start skimming through this, because it is going to be quite either quite a long season or we're going to have to start skipping because we only air two episodes in a week right now. <laughs> so yeah, do let me know about that. And uh, the music in this is really loud, but hopefully I've got the volume issues sorted out for you guys. I know that used to be a big issue where we'd have a really, really loud music and then nobody could hear me talking. <laughs> so hopefully that is sorted out. Please let me know what you think of the new volume levels because uh, I'm hoping they are a lot better this time than they were previously. Is it night? It is night. Let's actually settle down and sleep so that uh, we can pass the time. Here we go. Yep, it's night. All right, let's go ahead and we will rest. Oh yeah, that's right. This is the key for it. We'll sleep through the night and uh, hopefully... Yeah, hopefully nothing will happen. There is... You better be careful up there, Aquila. You better be careful. Hopefully she's alright. I, I sure hope she's alright. Okay, the human's getting further away and she's getting closer. Or she was getting closer. I don't know if she still is. We haven't seen her yet or anything. Yeah, she probably settled down as well. And uh, we will just briefly look. It's always good to use all your senses even when you're asleep. The human's moving away, which is a good thing. Um, but even when you're sleeping, because you never know when something can pop out of nowhere at you. Let's see if we look up here. Where is she? She should be right here, right? Hopefully. Hopefully she's nearby. She did head up towards the human. Oh, there is a rabbit back there. Is she heading away from us? There's a cow. It's raining. It is definitely raining. I don't know where she's headed off to, though. There's a human rather nearby. Well, maybe we should run and catch up to her. Hopefully we can see if any planes are coming or anything. Hope she went this way, which is good because that's away from the human. 
Now she's back up this way. She's kind of heading this way. Kind of switching between them. There she is. Hello. Hello. She's doing well. There we go. Is Oh, she's following us now. There is a cow nearby. Oh, we're leaving the territory. Let's stay within the territory. Let's also head back down towards the den because, um, I don't think we really want to go after the cow right now because that will raise the bounty on wolves. And I think right now these guys would be a fairly, um, fairly concerned about the human presence in the area and not necessarily wanting to go investigate a cow. Although we do need to get a drink. Let's, let's do that. And uh, hopefully, there we go. The cow is further that way. She's still up behind us. Oh, she's coming. Okay. Let's come down here. Hopefully everything here is going to be okay. Because I don't like that that human's there already. Um, that's a little disconcerting. Not really what you want to see when you're first staking out an area as a wolf, mind you. Uh, you want to be pretty careful of that. This game is also kind of uh, maybe brutal <laughs> and there's not a lot of margin for error. You mess up in this game and you tend to die. There are elk down there and deer. Hmm. Those could potentially be good options when it comes to hunting. So we might have to keep an eye on them. I don't want to overhunt the area though, so like we still have a carcass over here. Probably we'll go we'll go head towards that. And I'm not walk into the tree. There we go. But uh, we'll go investigate this carcass and see if we can get something to eat there. What's hard is not knowing what's behind um what's behind everything. So like when we get to this carcass, what's going to be behind it? Is there going to be a person behind it? Oh, that's a wolf. Is that what that is? That is a wolf. Okay. That's not a good thing. Okay, then. Well, <laughs> uh, we're going to avoid that carcass, then. I think these guys would want to get the heck away. So let's, uh, let's make sure we move someplace other than that. She's still running on ahead, which is a little disconcerting, because I now can't see what's coming this way. All I can see is her. And so if something were to happen up there... I wouldn't know about it. Let's head up this way. Um, and hopefully... Uh, this is out of our territory, though. I don't really like venturing that far for food, but we do want to eat up all the carcasses and uh, make sure we're getting rid of those before we're hunting new ones, because otherwise we're going to have a bit of an issue. And uh, that would not be a good thing. Let's see. Hmm. Hopefully. Hoping everything will be okay. <laughs> um. I always get a little bit nervous venturing out of the territory completely. Because you never know what's going to be up here. Like, we've been attacked by other wolves in the series. This se in the earlier season of this series before too. And there was a human up here somewhere, so hopefully it's not a human near here. There's a beaver that way. I don't think there's a human nearby, but I'm never completely sure. We always want to keep using our eyes as well, because you can't smell the planes. The planes just come at you. Planes, and then there's helicopters too. So I don't think we have seen a helicopter in this series yet. But they're stationary, basically, so, you know, the plane shadow swoops at you. The helicopter it can be harder to spot because it's not moving, but it kind of just stays where it is. And, oh yeah, that's another thing we should do, too, is talk about if we want to implement any sort of a permadeath system for this series. How should we handle dying? Should it mean we, we start over completely with a new wolf, or how are we going to handle that? So let's go ahead and eat real fast. And, um... We'll see, here we go, uh, we'll see then after this if we can rest through the night. Maybe we'll head back a little bit towards the den first though, because we want to make sure that we're in our territory. Alright, 
There we go. Now we can eat. Okay. So our den is nine that way. And there shouldn't be any planes at night, which is nice. I don't think I've ever seen a plane at night in this game. Uh, okay. There was just nothing there for a second. I thought I put it in autoplay again, and I was like, no. But, uh, no, we didn't. But as far as I know, there's no planes at night here. Which is a good thing. Very open clearing here. Wow. Um, if it's raining, I wonder if we can drink from the ground. I don't know. It's kind of an interesting thing. There's a lot of stumps here. It is, there are a lot of stumps. Hmm. Oh, there. We're going into our territory again. I feel a lot more comfortable sleeping in our territory because we're a lot less likely to run into problems. And uh, let's make sure we rest through the night. So let's see. Hopefully, we always want to make sure to keep using our senses here, just in case something shows up suddenly. I don't see on here either where Akila got off to. Is she? She's still okay, right? Yeah, she's fine. She's showing up as fine, so <laughs> we should be good. But uh, yeah, hopefully, um, hopefully she's alright. It's always a little bit weird when the other wolves don't uh, linger near you because... That can be a bit of a, a concern because the AI in this isn't always the smartest. It is an older game and a lot of the time they tend to run straight into danger. Or uh, we still don't know what happened to Cloud Song. No, we never ever figured that out. So things can happen in this game with little warning. And uh, you never know what might happen. So there is a cow. We're going to head back towards the den and see if we can find where Akila got off to. Hopefully uh, she's not too far. It's interesting how the personalities develop as well because like you have Star and Crow who were always right there. They always stayed very close to each other. Maybe if we howl we'll hear. And then these guys are a lot more independent and aloof and kind of doing their own thing. That didn't actually... There's maybe nothing to hear. I don't know why it's doing that. That doesn't mean she got into trouble, does it? Hopefully not. But we do need some water. So we'll make sure we get some. There we are. Hmm. I don't actually know where she got off to. Yeah, no, we can't hear anything. There is a carcass down here. Carcass over here. Is that the one we ran by? Please don't tell me that's her. No, that's the one we ran by. We already saw that one. So where is she? Did she get spooked by that and run off? Hmm. That is a concern. That is definitely a concern. I mean, she seems okay from everything I've seen. But... I don't know. Oh, there is an elk. How strong are the elk? I don't want to leap. They're pretty strong. I don't want to actually attack. Hope it's running alright. Maybe if we chase it near the den, we'll be able to. Okay, here. Let's see. I'm just gonna trot after it. The den is up this way, right? The den's off to the side. Oh, we want to get around it, too. Um, we want to go up this way, probably. And try and circle it. And then come back. And chase it the other way. Because then it won't sense us as easily, either. Oh, there it is. Come on, there we go. Chase him back down this way. We also do want to keep him on the run. And let's see... Here we go. There's multiple elk here, apparently. That's kind of interesting. The one we're after, though, has been going toward, right towards our den, actually. Hmm. Here it is. It is a bull elk, by the looks of it. Literally just walked straight by our den. 
but yet again it's maneuvered so that the wind hey wait oh there she is she must be over there yet again it maneuvered itself so that the wind direction was in its favor though so we gotta circle around it again we gotta circle like this and uh, hopefully there we go now we'll, we'll trot this way head this way oop there it is we can trot ahead of it here and kind of cut it off and then stand in its path okay it bolted this way and it's running up here if we get to the point of being able to outrun it then uh, that would be a good thing there's also a human close a little too close for comfort has the wind changed again the wind changed Although, wait, we do want it going up this way, actually. Yeah, we do want it to run this way. We'll probably have to give up the chase for the night soon as well. Hopefully. It's just up there. Oh, I actually see it. That's its leg, I think, just as night falls. But we'll have to uh, give up the chase for now, I believe. Let's skip through that. There it is. It's running again. Let's rest for the night. We'll lay down here and uh, sleep through the night. And then hopefully that elk, how is our food and stuff doing? We're okay. Hopefully that we'll be able to catch that elk next time. Now I don't know though where um, Akila got off to. Is she still okay and all? Yeah, she's okay and all. All right, everything seems to be fine. Hopefully, the elk went quite some ways, quite a ways up this way. Come morning, we'll have to chase it back towards the den. I don't like letting it stop and rest, though. We gotta keep its stamina draining. Hopefully, it doesn't get too, uh, too energized by getting to rest through the night. Alright, now it's snowing. There's also a human that way. All right, hopefully if we come this way, we'll come up here and it's not iced over or anything. There's two elk too. There's one right here. Hopefully the snow dampens scents. Hmm. Akila is definitely a lot more aloof than Crow. Who's this? Who's this up here? Is this Akila? There's a human. There's... Yeah, there's a human. But this would be the very edge of our territory, wouldn't it? Hmm. Oh. That's a little bit disconcerting. We can't really afford to take any sort of injury or anything. I don't think we're going to, um... Yeah, I don't think we're going to mess around with that. We're already... Here, we're back in our territory. We do need food, though. There is a carcass up here. We're leaving our territory. The carcass is this way. If we can get to the carcass... Right up here... Hmm. There's the carcass. We'll, we'll take uh, some time and eat here and then head back to the den. So let's see. There we go. You guys can pause on those and read them. I don't always read them out loud because you can always pause the video if you want to see them. <laughs> but they do give some interesting info sometimes. Just keep in mind that some of it might be old science because this game is pretty old. And uh, so, like, it still uses that old ranking system and such. There is a wolf behind us now. That finished off that carcass completely. I'm gonna go this way. Try and get back to our territory before that wolf has a chance to cut us off. Because our territory is here. And if that is another wolf, then I really want to get into our territory. Is that... There's an elk. 
Who is this? Who is this? This is Butterfly. She is a one year and seven month old female. Is she on our territory? She's a lone wolf. Maybe we'll challenge her. And just make sure she stays off our, tur her t our turf. Uh, wolves are very territorial. So she's definitely submissive. I feel like Ares is pretty stern, whereas Star might be a little bit more playful. So she's going to run. And uh, we're going to head back down this way. So it is important to uh, patrol the borders so that we don't have lone wolves creep creeping in and such. Yeah, if you don't patrol your borders in this, can you actually... I think you can scent mark. You can scent mark. I forgot you could do that. Um, yeah, that you definitely can. And where is the den? The den's down here. So let's head back there. And Aquila's still okay, right? Yeah, Aquila's doing fine. She's just off doing her own thing. All right, whatever floats her boat. We'll head this way. Is that another elk? That is another elk, I think. We're gonna head over here. And uh, another elk. There's like an, literally an elk herd right around our den. But we're gonna go ahead and wrap up the episode here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.